Welcome to the Noble Network Virtual College Fair. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, before we get started with our presentations, just a few quick housekeeping items to go over. Uh, the first is that attendees are welcome and certainly encouraged to ask questions to any of the panelists at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. You can pose your question to a specific panelist or you can ask a general question to any and all the panelists. If posing a question to a specific panelist, it would be good to put that school's name in your question. For a general question, you can just put for all uh, before your question. Also a reminder that your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. And a recording of this session will be available about one week from today on the same website where you registered for this session. Without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to our panelists. Up first, we'll have Northeastern Illinois University. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much everyone for joining us. Your mute is popping back on for some reason. That's weird. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. And I'm going to go back a little bit. Um, my name is Fabi Callis, and I put my contact information in the uh, chat box for everyone. Uh, welcome to Northeastern's presentation. My name is Fabi Callis, and I am the freshman admissions counselor at Northeastern Illinois University. I've been with Northeastern since I was a student back in the 1990s, or as you kids would say, the turn of the century. Um, Right now we have about 7,119 students, about 100 different countries are represented in our student population. We have about 80 different club, I'm sorry, 80 different undergraduate and graduate programs, as well as 70 different clubs and organizations that students can join. Our average class size is 16 and our student to faculty ratio is 13 to one. So we have relatively nice small class sizes being that we are a state university. And this is going to be just some general information and I just, I just saw a typo already. So this is the tuition for the 21-22 school year, not the 2020-21 school year. Right now, the tuition is about, uh, or will be 12,280. That's if a student does not receive financial aid or scholarships. We do provide students with the opportunity for scholarships as well as if they're eligible to apply for, for financial aid, about 85% of our students receive financial aid in one form or another. Neighboring states, so students, if you have family that lives in Indiana or Wisconsin or even Iowa or Missouri, they would pay in-state tuition. Undocumented students can also qualify for in-state tuition if they meet the requirements of the Acevedo bill, but they can also apply for scholarships. And that would be our next slide. We award about $3 million worth of scholarships to our students. Uh, of course, I mentioned before, all our talent, merit-based and foundation scholarships are open to undocumented and DACA students. Specifically, the Presidential Scholarship, which is our most prestigious. This one is uh, students who are undocumented or our DACA students are eligible to apply. They do require students to have at least a 3.35 GPA uh, test scores uh, of a 1280 on the SAT and a 27 on the ACT. So you do have to submit test scores, even though we are test optional as far as admissions. Um, Golden Opportunity Scholarship for Illinois freshmen and transfer students, as well as our deans and provost scholarship uh, students who are undocumented would qualify for. Unfortunately, the Golden Opportunity Scholarship is only for students that are eligible for the Pell Grant or they must be FAFSA eligible. We, in addition, we do participate in the Chicago Star Scholarship. So if you do choose to attend a city college we and you come back to Northeastern as a transfer student, uh, you can apply for the Chicago Star Scholarship. Uh, this is a list of all our undergraduate majors. And you can see that we have a lot of them. Uh, the ones that are bold, bold in white lettering, those are our top majors. So biology, pre-med, justice studies, pre-law, 
philosophy pre-law are typically our top majors, as well as computer science, education, accounting, and management. So what do you need to do to be admitted to Northeastern? As I mentioned before, we are test optional. We do require students to have at least a 2.5 GPA. Uh, of course, if you do submit your test scores, uh, we only do encourage those in order for you to get out of placement testing and or uh, obviously you're applying for scholarships. So how do you apply? If you haven't done so already, you would go to our main web page, which is neiu.edu slash apply, you would create your profile and then submit an application. In addition, you would need to make sure that you arrange for your high school transcripts to be sent. We don't uh, accept them from students, so they have to be sent through Navias or from your high school counselor to the admissions office. The application fee waiver um, is um, optional for some students, so if you qualify for a fee waiver, make sure that you select that option on the application. And of course, if you're eligible for FAFSA, you want to make sure that you apply or that you are eligible for the RISE Act, that you submit that application as well. Other things that we have for students are student resources, uh, the Career Development Center, student disabilities, as well as student counseling, our undocumented student resources. So these are all things that you can find on our website and you can see our website information listed at the bottom of the slide. Some of these include the TRIO program, as well as our summer bridge program. So the summer bridge program are only for students that have been admitted to Northeastern and um, are starting in the fall semester. They're only optional for incoming freshman students. Uh, the eMERGE helps students with English and math. Students that are interested in computer science would go through our El Centro campus for the Google Extension program where you work with Google engineers. We are one of nine schools in the country that work with Google. And of course, we encourage students to attend our virtual events such as campus overview, student panels, and I do host a freshman application workshop almost every Tuesday in the evening. Our application deadlines are July 15th. So if you are a senior and you're applying, make sure that we get your application and your transcripts in by the July 15th. Of course, if you have any questions, I did drop my contact information in the chat box. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much, Northeastern Illinois University. Uh, just a reminder for any attendees who recently joined us, please do feel free to drop any questions you have into the Q&A. If you have a question for a specific university, if you could put that university's name in the question so they can easily pick it out. For general questions, you can write something like for all. Um, but up next, we're going to move to Blackburn College. Awesome. Thank you. Let me share my screen with you all. There we go. We are Blackburn College, um, and you'll learn why we are quite unique. We are a small liberal arts four-year institution located in Carlinville, Illinois, which is about an hour north of St. Louis, Missouri, and an hour south of Springfield, Illinois. We have between 500 to 600 students every year, which means our average class sizes are 13 students. Sometimes you even can be in classes with only five other students. So our faculty really have a lot of time to spend one-on-one -on -one with you and help you out if you need it or just there to advise you and get to know you as a person. Um, we have 24% students of color and students from 20 different states and five different countries and that number keeps growing. Here is a list of all of our majors. We have 40 areas of study and you can all find them all on our website as well. At Blackburn, since we are a liberal arts institution, besides taking courses within your field of study, you will also take courses in different areas so that you are a well-rounded individual by the time you graduate. Um, if um, you are attending Blackburn, you have to either take two years of Spanish or choose a minor if you don't want to double major. And we have over 30 different minors that you can choose from to pair with the major you have decided. What makes us very unique is our work program. 
we are one of eight work colleges in the United States. And what makes us stand out from all the work colleges is that our work program is student led. That means our students are working on campus to help pay for their tuition. They work 10 hours a week on average and in return receive 5,000 yearly towards their tuition. So that's 5,000 you don't have to worry about off the bat. Um, but you are also gaining valuable work experience and building a good looking resume by the time you graduate. We have about a 98% placement rate after graduation, which means our students are either in grad school or have a job secured within those six months after graduation. Since at Blackburn, um, you are studying and going to work uh, on the same day, we have a student success center that is there to help you with academic resources. We have free tutoring and also counseling services and um, other services to um, provide um, any additional assistance you might need and they are all for free. A little bit about the residence halls. We have six on campus and they all have their unique personality, but I'll let you check out our video tours on our Facebook page, or if you wanna to come to campus and visit us, I'll share that link with you later. Um, one of our dorms is all female, one is all male, and the rest are co-ed split by floors. There are a lot of things for students to do on campus. We have several clubs and organizations more than I can keep track of. And it's also super easy for you to create your own club if there is not a club you are interested on campus. You can also be part of Student Senate who advocate for our student body. The Bernian is our newspaper and it's actually the oldest college, new, college newspaper in the uh, state of Illinois. Um, and our campus activity board, we like to call it CAB. They organize multiple activities for our students on and off campus since we are so close to St. Louis and Springfield and they are all for free. We are a NCAA division three athletic school, um, which means that you have the opportunity to play sports while you are studying. And we have a total of 11 different sports. You can find more information about them on our website. If you are not athletically inclined, um, you can also participate in the arts if that's your thing. And you don't have to be a music or theater major or minor to participate in any of our ensembles or any of our productions. Um, we have a choir and Blackburn Voices is actually our chamber choir. And all of our plays and different theater productions are mostly directed uh, and designed by our students. So all the sets are prepared by them. The costumes are prepared by our students. Our students basically run our school. Um, if you are a little more into the studio arts, we have a small art gallery where juniors and seniors get to present their own shows, uh, but there are also juried student shows every year. Grants and scholarships, yes, we offer them. We, based on your GPA, we will offer between 3,000 to 12,000 yearly towards your tuition. We also have grants available and those are based on need. So make sure you file the FAFSA because those are based on your estimated family contribution. If you're wondering what you would qualify for, you can always check out our scholarship calculator under our admissions page on our website. And to learn more, always the best way to um, get to understand us better is by coming to campus. And if you're not comfortable with visiting us in person right now, you can always just get a hold of us and we will figure out a virtual meeting with you. Our application is free online. We typically look for a 2.5 GPA and for you to be top 50% of the class. We need your high school transcript and test scores are not required. Um, we will also look at your application individually. If you don't meet our requirements, we might ask additional materials from you. And if you have any questions, please email us, give us a call. Don't forget to add us to your FAFSA and check us out on our social media. Thank you very much, Blackburn College. Um, now we're going to move to National Lewis University. Awesome. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Rebecca McDermott. I'm joined by Siobhan Huerta, who's going to be hopping in in a bit to talk to us about financial aid. Um, we're both outreach and enrollment specialists at National Lewis, and we love working at NLU for a chance to meet students like yourselves. So first, I want to kick off just by uh, going over some of the majors that we have at National Lewis. 
we've condensed our college and programs to have 12 majors that we know we're going to be awesome at. So instead of having a whole bunch of majors and having a focus on only a couple of them, we've decided to choose 12 that we know we're going to focus in on. So if one of these majors is for you, then you know that you're going to be getting a great bachelor's degree in that major at National Lewis. All of our students also graduate with a major, a minor, and a concentration, which helps you have a really targeted degree program at NLU, getting the very specific skill sets that you need in order to uh, get that first full-time job post-graduation. So that might mean you have a major in business administration with a minor in something like communications and a concentration in something like entrepreneurship if you're interested in starting your own business. There's a whole bunch of different minors and concentrations you can add on and mix and match to make the exact skilled and targeted degree program that you are interested in having for yourself. One of the really unique things about National Lewis that I know our students really appreciate is that our students are on campus in the classroom two days out of the week. Um, our students are on campus either Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have two campuses that students can choose from, either our downtown Chicago campus right across the street from the Bean and Millennium Park, uh, or our campus in the northwest suburb of Wheeling. Either way, students are choosing their campus that they're going to then spend two days a week at as a full-time college student, and the rest of the week is left open for your flexible time. So you can see in this example here, Students would be on campus in the classroom on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. with an hour long lunch break in between. That leaves Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday open for you to have a part time job, be taking care of any family obligations that you might have, be doing homework, participating in clubs, activities, whatever it is you need to do with your time, you are able to get that done on your off days. I know a lot of our students love this schedule because it lets them have a job while they're also getting their degree. And for our juniors and seniors, it's required for students to have an internship experience, which is going to help you get that uh, full-time job post-graduation. And our students are able to have those internships, not just over summer, but throughout the entire school year, thanks to our unique schedule. So uh, if being in class every single day is maybe not something that's your style, then this might be a really good fit for you. We also have a lot of different supports that we provide our students. One of the questions I saw was um, specifically asking about mental health supports and another question about accommodations. We do have a library learning support center that helps with student accommodations, as well as free mental health counseling for all of our students. We're dedicated to having small class sizes, so there are no lecture halls anywhere on either of our campuses. Um, and all of our classes are going to cap, meaning the maximum is going to be at about 30 to 35 students in a class. This lets you get that one-on-one -on -one support from your professors and also really get to know your peers and the students that you're um, you know, meeting and learning with. All of our students are also partnered with a success coach over summer before you even start classes at National Lewis. It's going to help you transition from high school to college. 87% of students at National Lewis University are first generation college students. So we understand that there might be a lot of questions that you have as you transition from high school to college. And our coaches are that point person on campus that's there to support you, guide you, and encourage you from day one all the way up to that moment when you're walking across the graduation stage. We want you to feel supported. We want you to feel like you're part of the NLU family. And we're there to provide all of the different supports that you might need, whether that is free tutoring, whether it's taking advantage of our free mental health counseling, our on-campus food pantry, or discounted internet access. I'm gonna pass it off to Siobhan to talk a little bit more about financial aid. Hey guys. Thanks, Becca. Um, so I know talking about college is a little bit stressful, especially when it comes to finances. We are going to be as transparent as possible. Um, these are tuition and fees. So tuition is what it costs for you to sit in a classroom. It's 10,755 for a professor to teach you at NLU. Um, we are one of the most affordable bachelor degree programs in Illinois. The fee is the stuff that we're adding in that's extra. So the U pass is 120 a term. Our student fee is 250. So anytime there's an event, there's free t-shirts, there's Chipotle, there's Chick-fil-A because they built one in the building. Anytime there's free stuff on campus, that's in the student fee. And then lastly, your textbooks, we actually wanna save you more money. So your textbooks are online. They're digital and they're virtual. So we offer a technology package at $60 a term. And that means if you have a good laptop, we can waive the technology package. If you don't and you would like a new one, we can do that for you. Um, 
Our total cost with the technology package is $12,045 a year. Um, without it, it's $11,865. And then on the next page, we'll do a, an award letter breakdown. All right, so let's break it down some more. It's math, I'm married to a math teacher. This is the best math possible. So your tuition and fees minus your free money, so your estimated grants and your scholarships equals what are you really paying out of pocket for college? Like I said before, with the tuition, um, the fees and our technology package, it's 12,045. So lastly, I just want you guys to see these two minus equals full map, full pal. It means out of pocket, you guys are paying $210 for your entire year of school for your first year. And without it, it's about 180 and that out of pocket goes with your deposit. So that's all you're paying for the entire year is about 210. And then with the um, RISE Act and alternative application, um, you guys still get full map and then out of pocket is about 6,705. And there are stackable applications and scholarships that we have for you guys as well. I see you, Chris, are we at time? You are at time. Okay, no problem. Thanks guys. Thank you very much, National Lewis University. And just a reminder to our, all of our attendees, all of these schools will get your information as well that you registered for these events. And so you can continue these conversations. Um, up next is Noble Forward. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amber Johnson and I am the recruiter at Noble Forward. And so I appreciate you for taking the time to learn more about this opportunity. So when we think about Noble Forward, many people say, who is Noble Forward? Noble Forward is a program of the Noble Network, and we are in partnership with Southern New Hampshire University and Brandman University. And who do we serve? We serve all Noble graduates. We know this is a daunting time. You're kind of thinking about what colleges to go to, what tests to take, what SATs to worry about. Well, remember one thing, you can apply and reach for the stars because you can always rest assured you have Noble Forward in your sol as a solid plan in your back pocket because we got you covered. Meet the crew. We have Yara, Angela, Caesar, and Amber Johnson, and Eric Rapp. We all work together on your benefit to make sure that you have the best possible experience working towards your college degree. So what exactly is Noble Forward? It's higher education that works on your schedule, not your educator's schedule, not your professors, not your moms. It's your schedule, your terms, your time. What is Noble Forward? Noble Forward is online college with in-person coaching and support for you to reach your goals. We offer an online education with in-person support. So there's definitely space for you here at Noble Forward. Here's this place that we had specifically built for our Noble alumni. It's located at 1911 South Sangamon in the Pilsen neighborhood. This is a place that you can come and hang out, drink some coffee, talk with friends about projects, or just simply take some time to yourself. If you wanna definitely do your work, this is a place that you'll be able to do that because we've built this space again for you. So what's the difference with Noble Forward? Noble Forward, simply put, we are a competence-based educational program. Amber, what's competence-based education? Education is defined, competency-based education is simply defined as an academic model in which the time a student takes to demonstrate competency is flexible, while the expectations about learning is our constant. So what did, all, what did all that mean? Basically, simply put, you earn credit for what you know when you demonstrate you know it. There isn't a need for you to wait for the semester to end for you to pass a class. Once you master it, you can move on to the next project. So what can that do for you? As students that work towards mastering each competency, you're actually developing skills that you can actively and immediately use in the workplace. Not everybody can afford to go to college straight from high school. Some people wanna work, they may have family things that they have going on. Or like myself, I just didn't choose to go away. 
And so the biggest benefit of this program is the development of workplace self-assurance. You're doing this for a reason. There is a point to this. And this program gives you the confidence to go after the job and the career that you want. So are we the college? No, not at all. We're actually partnered with two colleges, Southern New Hampshire University. I know you've seen the commercials a couple of times on television. And then you also have Grandman University. Both of these programs are competence-based. They empower you to complete projects and demonstrate skills rather than just taking regularly scheduled online classes. Degree pathways, what will you learn? You can learn marketing, communications. So I know a lot of you know a lot about Facebook, right? IG, Instagram. You can actually learn how to use these in a business model in this program, right? And there are other degree paths that you can take as well. You can also earn a Bachelor's of, Math, of, of Arts and Management, and then also in Healthcare Management with Southern New Hampshire University. With Brandman, you have a choice of a Bachelor's in Business or even IT, another popular, popular program. So what do we offer then? If, we, if we're dealing with Southern New Hampshire, what do we offer, Amber? Noble Forward offers you support. If you have something wrong with the computer or you just simply don't have one, we can help with that. If you need a way for public transportation funds to get to school, to get to the coach to work with you, we can help with that. If you need just the last dollar scholarship because things happen, we can help with that. The resources that we offer, we are a huge community, the Noble Alumni, so use your network. We are a small micro campus. We focus on you and the integrity of what you're trying to do one-on-one. -on -one. We are family friendly. Bring your mom, bring your dad, bring your mom, bring your sisters, bring your brothers, bring your children. We have a space so that you can do whatever you need to to reach the goal of completing assignments to graduate. Then we also have community referrals. We know that we don't know everything, but we will get on the hunt to find you the resources that you need to eliminate any barriers that you may see along the way. And then we focus on your career development. We wanna make sure that you're reaching the goal of going back to school. We wanna make sure that you're reaching the goal of furthering your education and we offer support to do that. We even have work study. Yes, we have students just like you making phone calls, tutoring, doing a lot. We offer the help that you need. So what does it take to get in? You don't need anything but a high school transcript and a 2.0 GPA. Don't worry about anything else. We're extremely affordable. So definitely don't worry if you have a Pell Grant that can cover your entire expenses here. And lastly, but not least, we do have graduates from the program and we wanna make sure that you know how to reach us in case you have additional questions. And then I want you to remember, be encouraged to reach for the stars on your academic journey. Don't be nervous because you've already been accepted here at Noble Forward. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much, Noble Forward. Um, up next, we're going to move to St. Augustine College. Thank you, Chris. Oops. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and share my slides. Okay, so hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Eric. I'm an admissions counselor for St. Augustine College. And just I'm going to briefly go over a little bit about who we are and what we offer for you. We are an independent bilingual institution. Um, so out of the many colleges in the Chicagoland area, we actually offer classes in both English and Spanish, um, both accredited. Um, we're literally looking at regional accreditation with the Higher Learning Commission. Um, all of your classes are eligible to to transfer over to other major universities as well. And we do have two professional accreditations. The first is with the Council on Social Work Education, specifically for our bachelor's in uh, social work program, and COARC, which is specifically for our associates in respiratory therapy. So these professional accreditations will get you ready to uh, take your state licensing exam as soon as you finish both your social work or your respiratory therapy curriculums. And you can begin working as a social worker, a respiratory therapist. We do have several locations in the Chicagoland area and also one in Aurora. The only one that's open right now due to the whole pandemic is our campus. Um, all of our services and all of our classes are being offered online. 
Um, there are certain courses that require either a laboratory or a culinary arts program. We do offer those on campus on a limited capacity so that there's enough space and safety for all of our students. I'm going to leave it here for just for a moment so that you can take a look at the academic uh, degrees that we offer. We do have um, 11 associate degrees and five bachelor degrees. The popular ones that a lot of students contact us about are our respiratory therapy. Um, so with something like COVID, respiratory therapists are in high demand and also our early childhood education program. Um, we do have our bachelor degrees in psychology and computer information systems. So if you want to work with IT, we do have our IT programs and of course our social work as well. What are the requirements to come into our institution? It's pretty simple. As long as you're above the age of 17, you complete your high school and you have your official high school transcripts. That's it. There is no application fee for our application. Uh, it's very easy to apply. You go to staugustinedu slash apply and you submit your application. You don't, and as soon as it's submitted, we'll get it from our end and we'll be able to help you with your entire enrollment process. Everybody here would be completing an undergraduate application uh, as well as the intended major or program. And if you don't know what you want to major in, that's actually OK. Um, we'll be able to help you get started with your general education courses. And actually, each student, I'm going to talk about it in a little bit, you're going to be designated a learning facilitator. It's a little bit different than an academic advisor. This person is designated to help you make the right choices so that you can succeed uh, in your educational career. Going to talk about financial aid for a moment here. Um, so our total annual cost, this includes this fall semester and the spring semester, comes out to eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty. Uh, we do work with the FAFSA applications as well. So for all the students who are able to apply for their FAFSA on time, that's, that's going to be a big keyword when you come to college. Um, we do go through your Pell Grant, your uh, FSEOG, your federal work study programs. And then on top of that, we do look at our institutional scholarships. Right now, one scholarship that we are offering is called the SAC Promise Scholarship. Now, this scholarship, if we see that you qualify for financial aid through your FAFSA application, we will cover the rest of your tuition. The only thing that students are paying right now is for their book fee and their course material fee, which includes, you know, having access to your classes online but we will cover the rest of your tuition. We also have what's called SAC Promise Tuition. Now this means that uh, you will never be charged more than 12 credit hours. Students can take up to 18 credit hours per semester for the cost of 12 credit hours. That means you're getting classes for free and you're also finishing your degree much quicker because you're taking more classes a semester. For student support, we do offer tutoring on both English and Spanish. Uh, we offer days, nights, and Saturday classes as well, and free parking on each uh, of our campuses as well. We know how difficult it is to actually find parking when you're going to school, so you don't have to worry about that with us. We do have small classes for individualized attention. You're looking at a 13 to one uh, student to faculty ratio. And like I mentioned, each student also gets a learning facilitator designated to them, depending on the major that they are intended on studying for. So what this means is that regardless of what stage you are in, whether you are in the admissions process, or you are registering for your first couple of courses, or you're a continuing student and you're going towards completing your entire degree, you will always have someone to actually help you and make sure that your educational career is personalized. You have the support that you need so that you can be successful at our institution. Now, this is my contact information here, and I did put it in the chat here. Um, Chris, I'm actually a little bit early <laughs> for this one, so I'm not sure if you wanted me to keep moving forward or you want to go to the next institution. We can move to the next if you have nothing left and use that Absolutely. time at the end for questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, St. Augustine. Um, and we are at our final presentation, the American Academy of Art College. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen so I can bring you to my PowerPoint presentation. All right, so good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lisa DeLuca. I represent American Academy of Art College here in Chicago. I am going to be giving you some information about the Academy. 
But since we are in art school and we're, you know, the right side of the brain thinkers, um, I'm going to start off with something kind of fun and cool here before we actually get to the facts of our school. I want you to, as students, really think about where you see art and what art is to you. And my main message here in starting off this presentation is, is hoping that everyone understands that art is actually everywhere. So when we think of art, we don't just see art in a museum or a gallery. We actually see art everywhere, every day. And the reason why I begin here is because quite frankly, if students don't really understand what art is, then they don't really understand all the career opportunities that are available to them. So a lot of students, when they think about art, they just think sometimes, okay, so I would be a painter um, or maybe I would be a sculptor. And you know, I'm sure a lot of students are beyond that these days and do understand that there's a lot more, but you'd be surprised like parents and students that don't always really fully get the grasp of what art is. So I want us to think about billboards, movie posters, magazine covers, apps, websites, toys and games. We also want to think about our necessities, you know, the, the dwelling that we live in, whether that be a home or an apartment, an architect created that. Um, the clothing that you wear is fashion design. And for lunch today, if you haven't had lunch yet, if you go in your refrigerator, you're going to see a lot of packaged items, packaged food and drink, that's graphic design. So it is really important that you realize that pretty much everything you look at was made by a creative. So hopefully then that kind of opens up your whole perspective as to what art is. So for the point of my presentation, when I say art, I'm including everything, you know, from design to photography, pretty much anything that you see in our visual culture. Now, American Academy of Art College is a small private school that is located in the South Loop of Chicago. We are actually at Michigan and Van Buren. So we occupy two floors in this mid-rise. And you can tell already just by looking at this photograph that this is not your traditional college campus. You are actually in an urban campus. And when you attend school in a city like Chicago, the city becomes your campus and all the cool touristy things like the museums, those become really valuable resources for you. So you've got the Art Institute across the street. You've got the MCA just north of us off of Michigan Avenue. There's also the Museum of Contemporary Photography. Uh, that's a few blocks south of us. Then of course you have Museum Campus itself where you have the shed and the Field Museum and the Planetarium. And then you got the cool parks, right? So Millennium Park and Grant Park, these become outdoor drawing and painting studios for our students. And quite honestly, the whole city of Chicago becomes a backdrop for any type of photography that you would like to do. Um, so as a creative, um, really definitely think about where the location of your college will be, um, because I definitely think that that will make a difference in your experience in college. Also, we do have a dorm that we work with. It's called University Center. Now I will also tell you, that the majority of the students who attend the academy are commuters, especially students such as yourself who live in Chicago, but this is an option. So I just thought I would throw it out there and let you know that there is a beautiful dorm that we're working with. It's just a few blocks uh, south of us. It's very clean, it's very safe, lots of great amenities. I've stayed here as a chaperone uh, for our summer program and I will tell you it is much nicer than the dorm that I stayed in when I was in college. Um, so it's a lovely facility. Um, also, the academy, now pre-pandemic, the academy had about 18 students per class. So when I said we were a small private school, we are a small, small private school. Um, but right now with all that has occurred with the pandemic, how it's working is we have 10 students in class per CDC regulations. All of our general education classes, also known as humanities and sciences, those are actually all online, uh, it's fully remote. And then other majors outside of like the painting and drawing program, it's a hybrid schedule. So we're kind of all over the place just doing what we need to do um, that is best for the respective programs. Next year, we plan on being fully live. Now, one thing that you wanna consider also when you are attending an art school is that you are engaged in an art community. And when you are going to a small school like the Academy, I would say one of the perks is that everybody pretty much knows each other. So when we survey our students and ask them what they liked about our school freshman year, that's actually a, a big thing that comes up, that they like the fact that they know their teachers by name, their teachers know them by name, and that basically everyone pretty much knows one another. We do not have sports at the academy, um, and we do have clubs. Many of them have already been created, but we are open to students creating their own clubs as well. And some examples of those clubs could be anime club, film club, 
um, things of that nature. All right, so one thing I do wanna share with you is that the Academy will be embarking upon its 100th year anniversary coming up in 2023. So we were founded by Frank Young. He actually owned his own um, advertising design school in the, in the Chicagoland area. And he decided at one point that he actually wanted to bring what he learned in advertising um, to his student apprentice artists. So he actually created a school and it is no coincidence that when I show you some of the history of the Academy, that the first couple of images are advertisements because that's pretty much the root of how we were founded. Uh, so we got Coca-Cola Santa Claus as well as the Coppertone baby. And you know, you, you recognize a lot of these other images as well. We do have people working in the graphic novel world as well as in the gaming industry. Um, I'm going to end with our programs. At the Academy, we offer a BFA. Um, it's a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. It's a four-year program. So you can pursue commercial art in traditional and digital illustration, graphic design, 3D modeling and animation, art direction. Photography is both analog and digital. And then my fine art program is painting where you can specialize in either oil or watercolor. So if you are a creative, please consider the Academy. We are still taking applications and I will put information in the chat. Thank you very much, uh, American Academy of Art. Uh, we do have some time remaining, so attendees, if you have any last questions, please do feel free to submit them through the Q&A. Uh, we also have a time for questions ourselves here, so if I could ask all of our presenters to turn their cameras back on and answer the following question. Uh, what's one thing you did not have time to present on that you'd like to quickly cover now? Maybe that's your favorite event or tradition on campus, a fun fact about your school, or an interesting question you saw come into the Q&A that you'd like to cover. So we'll go back in that same order, starting with uh, Northeastern Illinois. One thing that I feel like I was not able to cover is in the past, students had opportunities to go study abroad. Um, I usually get emails from students that are like, hey, can I study abroad? Unfortunately, right now, obviously, for global reasons, study abroad programs have somewhat dwindled a little bit, but once everything goes back to normal, whatever normal will be for us, I hope that our students have the opportunity. And I wish that as a college student, I had taken advantage of study abroad. Yes, definitely. If you can fit it in, it's not a bad thing to do. Uh, Blackburn? Um, my thought was similar. We have study abroad opportunities for our students and we keep um, trying to grow them. A lot of them are for students who are majoring in Spanish into Spanish speaking countries and you get to really be immersed within the culture and the language itself. Our students who go to our Spanish speaking countries come back with a completely different perspective on life um, and you can see how much they've enjoyed their experience there as well. Great, thank you. Uh, National Lewis? Yeah, um, one quick thing I want to highlight, one of our more popular majors on campus is our criminal justice major. And part of the reason for that is that we have a crime lab on campus that's broken into multiple different sections. One is always set up like a different crime scene and our students get to go in, uh, find fingerprints, measure blood splatters, and then go take them to our analysis lab um, and do the analysis work on that. So if you've ever been interested in being on, um, you know, CIS Miami or anything like that, then that might be a great pathway for you. Some people look very interested. Others are shaking their head and uh, noble forward. Oh, yes. One of my favorite facts about the program is that we have two college graduates who basically have sped their way through the program. So we have a model of all you can eat buffet. You can actually take on your first 12 credit hours in the first term, but if you're done early, you can take on more credits at no additional charge, which can speed your time up to graduation. So we do have a gentleman from Gary Comer College Prep, Tyrio Robinson. He earned his degree, his bachelor's degree within two years. So he did the associates in nine months. Now he's gonna be finished with the bachelor's this month. So these are great things to, to reach forward towards. Wow. Uh, St. Augustine. I like, uh, give me one second. I'm going to highlight two of our programs. So the first one is our, again, I mentioned it already, but our respiratory therapy program. So actually with this entire COVID pandemic, the demand for our respiratory therapy program has actually been up because the ones who are actually working with COVID patients are respiratory therapists. And they are completely burnt out because there's not a lot of people who know about 
respiratory therapy. So all of the students who have actually completed our program within the past year have actually been placed immediately in jobs. And also our culinary arts program. Um, we do pride ourselves in how our students know, learn how to cook and what they cook. So whenever if possible, we have usually like our gatherings for either staff or other institutions. We always put first and foremost our culinary arts students who are actually out there cooking all the food, teaching us exactly how they did it and what they're doing too. Lucky you. American Academy of Art. So I did want to mention that um, one of the things that we do with the Academy is something called a lunchtime lecture. They're usually monthly. And pre-pandemic, we actually used to bring in what you would call a visiting artist. So it might be an alum, it may not be, whatever the situation may be, it's someone that we bring in that we feel can really enlighten our students. They do Q&A, they show their art. It's a really, really cool event. But with the pandemic, obviously, we were not really opening up our campus um, live and having like visitors come in. So what we did is we started doing all of this on Zoom, of course, which, you know, that's where our lives have been this year. Um, and we actually were able to bring in artists internationally. So it was awesome. Like our kids really appreciated the fact that they could, you know, ask questions and see this work from these people that otherwise they probably wouldn't have had an opportunity to engage with. So I guess the point of my story is that we all know this has been a really rough Year, especially for our students. We know this has not been easy for you. So I commend you for even being here today with us and taking the time to ask questions. I know a lot of us are really burnt out, but we have to look at the positive of what's occurred this year. And I believe a lot of the things that we've had to do during the pandemic will, will follow us and we'll go into the next chapter of a post-pandemic world and for the better. So I just think we have to stay positive for sure. Great, thank you. Great way to end our session. Uh, we do want to thank again all of our panelists for joining us, your great presentations, your additional insights. Uh, we definitely want to thank all of our attendees uh, for attending today. You were a very uh, engaged group asking lots of great questions. So thank you very much for that. Uh, before we do end this session, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, again, when you close this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey that we ask that you complete. And again, about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on that same registration website. Um, but again, thank you to everybody uh, and all of our students out there. Good luck in your college search. Have a great day. <laughs>